It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick, and then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 187 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, Assassin. All right, you can be losing the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Both guys throwing potential fight-enders here in the early going. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. 
Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Punch to the body is blocked. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Liver kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Slips the punch. He is all about that left kick to the body. All right, single collar tie now. Beautiful body kick. Not there. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Nice job of hiding that head kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good stick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice counter right hand. That knee might have landed there. Man, these knees are really starting to do a lot of damage to his opponent here tonight. And there's another one for good measure. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's gonna fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming. High or low, every time he throws them, they're landing. That knee might have landed there. Oh, another knee by Lee. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights, and he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. That knee might have landed there. Another knee by Lee. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's gonna throw a knee. Well, we know knees to be some of the most destructive strikes in MMA, and he's got that part of his game going tonight. He has got the knees going. He's throwing them in bunches. That knee might have landed there. Oh, another knee by Lee. Good shot, good shot. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and do it all the way back. But those things will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active, the cardio the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with, it's gonna be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes.
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Beautiful strike. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Nice kick there by Lee. Got a single collar tie. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, these man. Got to check these kicks or Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his strike. Got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Lee's shot is blocked. Nice head kick. Slips. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big kick. Loaded up with the right hand, too. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. Straight punch lands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lee gets in the clinch yet again. Now connects with a right. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Goes back to that left kick once again. He blocks the punch. Oh, big head kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Right hand upstairs. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Able to check the high kick. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, you got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Just misses with the jab there. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Big kick lands. And they separate. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Good punch land. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lou. Slips the punch. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see. These high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes.
All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything to absolute power. He was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Single collar tie now. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Ooh, blocks the shot. Lands with the right hand. And they separate. Right on the button. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. And they separate. Blocks the shot. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter, you see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, huh? I do. A little bit. Horrible. Get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let them go. Oh, collar tie. Great punch. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. He blocks the shot. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Good punch. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Clean with the right hook. Just misses there with the left. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. He's starting to really bruise now. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He can't even, he can barely stand. Just misses with the jab. Oh, and he caught the kick. Punches blocks. And then he lands a nice elbow. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Lee's got the tie clinched. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Nice strike. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Right hook to the head, but big leg kick land. Over and over, he landed his big body kicks. And there comes the separation now. Lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. 15 seconds to go. Beautiful kick. Nice counter 
power shot there. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Head kick! Oh, right hand gets up for block. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Sneaky head kick. That's a big strike right there. Knee coming to the body is blocked. Head kick. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice looping punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, big head kick lands. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Throws the right hand there. Nice punch there. Lee's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Ooh, what a head kick. I can't believe he's still standing after taking another massive head kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Right hand upstairs. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Oh, that's a nice strike. What a tricky head kick. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Lands a big elbow there. Left hand punch to the plane. Both guys really throwing with authority. Look at that leg. Lands to the body there. Well placed kick there by Lee. Connects with a right. Elbow to the head there by Lee. 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big body kick. Nice straight punch. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. 15 seconds. Right punches there. Got the same hollow tie. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Nice punch there by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Right hand is on point. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Speed right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, lands a flush elbow. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Nice punch land over the top. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Unable to land with that punch. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press this. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Out of range with that one. <laughs> Slips the shot. Lee gets caught with that punch. Big head kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. A oh, little single collar tie there. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he is completely gassed at this stage of the fight. I'm not sure if he's lost his will to continue, but it might be time to just put that controller down and take a breather. I mean, he's going to keep pressing those buttons as long as he can. You got to get him out of there if you're winning. Because he's going to keep on butt mashing. So right now, the butt mashing becomes even more dangerous because he's like a Wolverine that you cornered. And now all he can do is fight and try to win. Left hand punch from the clinch. A nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Partially blocked. It's not over. It's not over. Keep moving. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Right hand on point. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Just a slip there. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time. 
trying to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Long single collar tie here. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the punch. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Single collar tie now. So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Tommy just landed that beautiful kick right under the ribs. You can see immediately the effect that it took on his opponent as his opponent went back to the edge of the octagon, fell down to the ground, and he finished the fight. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliani has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you gotta think this dude's gonna get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's gonna get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.